All right, I am here at the Sony GDC booth with two people you know from the Sony Computer Entertainment family, Shu Yoshida, head of Worldwide Studios, and Richard Marks, the, the head of the Magic Lab, right? Yep. We uh, unveiled the Magic Lab uh, at the launch of PS4, and you guys were working on some cool stuff. We showed the eye tracking for Infamous, which you have here. Then there was stuff I wasn't even allowed to see last fall, which was this move into virtual reality. So Shu, uh, tell us about this idea, because this is not something that you guys just cooked up a few months ago. It's been a, a long process to get to where we are today. Yes, exactly. This has been uh, like a grassroots movement in our you know, company you know, across uh, different groups, actually. Yeah. You know, I showed the early prototype that was made by Santa Monica Studio guys, but uh, Santa Monica Studio was not the only group you know, right. working on something like that, you know, handmade. Like Evolution guys are doing it, SCEA R&D guys are doing it, SCI guys are doing it. Yeah. You know, the Move controller that Big Max team created allowed it to put together something very quickly, yeah. you know, with the you know, viewers, some kind of, you know, VR-like, you know, viewer. So all the teams are experimenting it. No one told anyone to do that. Right. They are just passionate gotcha. about these things. That was like a 2010 oh. and early 2011. Wow. Now, Richard, you said on stage that you, know, you were kind of a believer in VR, but now you're a real you know, advocate for it after going through this project. Um, the idea of VR, how did the sort of Magic Lab or R&D get involved with that coming out of the Move controller? Well, like Shu mentioned, actually the Move controller was used for a lot of these early prototypes. Yeah. So we were brought in right from the start because we were supporting the prototypes just by supporting Move. Right. And then we were a natural fit for providing the tracking for the VR headset. Right. So the guys in my group that did the Move, they actually do the tracking for Morpheus as well. So how shoot it, like a project like this, how does it get started? Is that, you know, your worldwide studios, there's R&D, like, you know, this, all of Sony get together and say, like, we think VR is something we should invest in. Like, how do you decide to launch sort of a, a new platform? Yeah, so luckily we had uh, one you know, executive at SCI called Miura-san. Uh -huh. He's the head of the hardware group in okay. Japan. He's a big fan of this space. Okay. So he you know, gave you know, his team some resources and time yeah. to work on this as an official project. Okay. And uh, because we had already people working on this you know, uh, in our studios and R&D, we formed a network of uh, you know, passionate engineers right. to, to iterate on this technology. Wow. Yeah, and I know it's been you know many years uh, in sort of progress. Why is now the right time to talk about it, Richard? Well, now is when all the technologies are kind of finally coming together at a level that we would like to see them for a right. really good VR experience. The tracking, of course, which we already talked about, and also the display and uh, some of the graphics horsepower you need to drive a good VR experience. Right. You know, really, PlayStation 4 is the right level for us yeah. to jump in and do this. Now, gamers watching this, you know, VR is so hard to you know, show on television or on the web because you, you don't have that experience. Um, gamers are watching this. Do you imagine, Shu, that you know, every Sony game now you're going to want to experience in VR? Is this something that you know, there'll be certain games designed just for it? How, how is a gamer going to consume this VR? Yeah, so you know, as soon as developers work on VR stuff, they immediately understand that all the game design that they have learned and used in the conventional game do not work. Right. Yeah. So the I mean in, I'm saying that the all VR games have to be designed from, from the ground up. Wow, right. That doesn't mean that you know they have to throw away, away everything. Yep. Like the you know thief demo yep. uh, that the uh, you know IDOS teams created yes. took the asset from the game thief right. and limit the gameplay elements and design the you know VR dedicated experience. Uh, using the you know very high production value asset, right. so so maintaining the mood and uh, uh, beautiful environment yep. you know for the you know demo, but uh, they created something very spooky like uh, going into haunted house like right. experience just for VR. Wow. Yeah, uh, Richard, you know games and experiences in VR. You know gamers love to play PlayStation games for hours on end. Is VR? Do you see it as a, a more of a short session experience, or do you think people will want to you know? live in a world for 20 or 30 hours inside of VR. <laughs> 20 or 30 hours, that's a little unsafe maybe. But right. I, think, I think that actually at first you'll probably see a lot of shorter experiences, right. but I actually believe when the, when the technology is at where we think it's going to get, yeah. you can have quite a long experience. I know our developers have had quite many right. hours in VR, so yeah. we're still here. Well, and shoot from a game design perspective at Worldwide Studios, um, you know, we saw the, uh, the Undersea demo they did in London and things like that. Um, 
where, where do you, you know, what excites you for, about game design? What do the studios get excited about when they start to work with this technology? Yeah, so, you know, lots of people in this industry, especially developers, uh, have dreamed about, you know, being in the game space. You know, so you know, every, everyone tried different, you know, techniques, you know, using first person view yeah. or, you know, but VR really takes you into the place, mm -hmm. you know, from, you know, real world. Yeah. So, you know, we call it, you know, sense of presence. You really believe that you are somewhere else. Yeah. And that's awesome experience. And I and we all believe that this goes beyond you know games or gamers. Right. You know anyone. You know people like traveling, right? Visiting new yeah. places, you know beautiful places, visiting you know big monuments or like that. You know same thing. You know yeah. it, it, you know you know people can go anywhere that they cannot go in, in daily life. You know we feel that this has a very universal huge opportunity you know, to be adapted. And you uh, teased that back at launch, you were working with NASA on something, and here you have the, the Mars demo, so right. that's a great example of something. As yeah. you said, we're probably not going to Mars anytime soon, but we <laughs> not can- Not too many of us, at least. <laughs> yeah. So that's cool, you know, partnering with new people like NASA, who never really worked with PlayStation in this kind of way before. Um, so you see more of those partnerships happening, Richard? Yeah, I do. I think that um, right now we're focused on games. We yeah. use the NASA demo as kind of a one example of a non-game, so we could evaluate how right. that would be. But I think in the future that you'll see a lot more non-game applications. But still, at PlayStation, our focus will be games. Right. So game shoe, you know, you have a lot of studios. Are you going to put teams on creating, you know, just VR games? Like this has always been the passion project. Yeah. So I never tell anyone to do this. Right. Yeah. It's uh, you know, I'm so like the people like London Studio. It's a natural fit. Yeah. They've been working on like uh, you know augmented reality technology or 3D input. Yeah. So they are like, yeah, yeah, we are gonna do it. <laughs> And so far, because we've been iterating the hardware, the you know tech team like uh, Nick Max right. team uh, needed to work with small uh, number of developers yes. because the iteration is rapid and right. developer has to be very patient to yeah. work with the tech and uh, giving you know direct feedback by creating the VR application like the you know deep demo. Right. Uh, but you know going forward, because we have a very stable good uh, kit uh, yes. prototype that we you know use as a development kit. You know, we are going to produce that in volumes and yes. uh, start, you know, distributing to the, you okay. know, many more studios and, you know, third-party developers. Yep. And this is when, you know, I can expect more people or more studios to right. go, yeah, I want to do this as well. Last Guardian VR, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, in the presentations, uh, you know, Anton used the drawings of yes. uh, Shadow. People got very excited. Yeah, I was, oh, yeah, that would be awesome. <laughs> you talked to Edo about that? Well, the team in Japan is working on some other project, <laughs> right. you know, so they are busy. So, Good. you know, yeah, I, I might fi have to find some other team. Too. Okay, well, I, yeah. I'm sure there are lots of teams that would be interested in, in getting involved in this. Now, this is, you know, a tech demo. People are seeing it for the first time. Richard, how far away is this from becoming reality in someone's home? Uh, what, well, what Shu said already, this kit we have, we felt it's really good for the level of creating experiences. Right. Developers, it's developer ready. Yep. It, we just don't. We're not quite ready to release it to the public, and you know, yeah. we're not really saying quite when that's going to happen. Right. It will happen when we think we can give a really good value to our customers. Is it fair to say that wouldn't be this year, though? Yeah, right. this right. year. Yeah. yeah, yeah, because we are, you know, continuing to work on the tech. So yeah. this means 2014, no consumer product. Right. Okay, right. So this will be more behind the scenes. People will get to work with it. Are you going to have, you know, you guys have done a lot with indie developers and other folks. Is this kit going to be available to a lot of people? Yes, that's our hope. Yeah, yeah. like uh, you know, indies come up with great ideas like yeah. Octodad. Yeah, so the indie guys, because they don't want to compete with big budget, you know, hundreds of people team, right? right. So they tend to focus on doing something, one thing really, really well. Yeah. And they tend to try to come up with some new ideas. So that indie spirit is perfect with the VR, creating VR experience. Yeah. Because we are making VR game is some coming up with a new experience without using the conventional game you know, design. Right. And uh, so young people, like uh, students you know, in the college, and the indie guys are the yep. perfect team that we right. want to work with. Wow, that's awesome. Now, Richard, the product obviously is sort of here in a, in a primitive form. What are the leaps that you guys still feel like you need to make with this before it comes out to consumers? Like we outlined before, there's these different areas where we know there can be improvements. We, can always, we know we can improve on the display and the sound, and. Uh, the tracking can still be improved. So all right. these areas have some improvement we can do. 
We need to get the latency down somewhat on what we have from when you move your head to when it shows up on the screen. Okay. And by doing that, I think we can make the experience even better than what we have here. All right, so when this finally comes out for consumers, it might be, you know, it's going to be improved from even what we see today, right? right? Definitely. Amazing. So this will be, you know, coming out for Play PlayStation 4, I guess, right? Yes. And it will connect in, and I know you guys have a cable, so you'll the experience for the consumer will be you just put it on, jump into the game, and let's talk a little bit about control, too, because you guys talked about that. Uh, how do you imagine most people are going to control or interact with games in this? Yeah. Right now, we have a, a really great controllers for PlayStation 4. We have the DualShock 4, which is right. awesome, and it can be tracked in 3D, right? So it fits in really well, actually. Now with... we know why that light fires. <laughs> yeah, right, exactly. Even though everyone keeps asking on Twitter to figure out, it drains my battery, how do I turn it off, right? Yeah. Uh, actually, we are working on the firmware to be able to dim it. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Breaking news yeah. show. <laughs> Breaking news. Breaking news. <laughs> <laughs> And then also, of course, we have the PlayStation Move in our you know, back pocket from PlayStation 3, which we can use, and it works. It's actually a really great VR controller. I yeah. mean, in a lot of ways, it's designed better for VR than it really was for you know, a traditional kind of 2D display. So. Right, uh, well, so, and it's really exciting to have you guys out talking about this technology and obviously kind of pushing forward um, for PlayStation. So do you see, Shu, to wrap this up, like? Studios, you think there's going to be significant amount of resources put towards this VR project on the development side over the next few years? Well, initially, you know, because everything is new in terms yeah. of making experience. You know, I don't want to see you know studios suddenly putting hundred people right, exactly. onto it. You know, I want all studios to start you know experimenting small, ideas, small yeah. and uh, try ideas. And uh, I've seen you know the iteration that London Studio guys gone. Yeah. You know, they really you know have to try yeah. to see it and uh, find out the best mechanic. You know, especially you know, uh, the, the VR experience can be too intense. Yeah. Yeah. So we really want to design the experience that's you know very fun and comfortable and enjoyable for you know all sorts of people. So you know, it takes a lot of time to learn. So I like you know all teams to work on this, but in a small uh, experimental way right. and uh, you know think about what the product that you know we can come up with. Smart way to approach it. So Richard, Magic Lab, we know you guys are working on this. Uh, how much of sort of Magic Lab's time is devoted to VR right now? Of all the things you guys are doing. Well, we have a lot of different projects, but every person within Magic Lab right now is contributing to Morpheus. Okay. So. I guess I can say that. So much. Morpheus is the big one, right? <laughs> All right, well, guys, congratulations on the reveal. Uh, very cool technology, and we look forward to hearing more. Uh, maybe even at E3, we'll get a little tease of something new, right? Thank you. Excellent. Yes. Thank, Thank you for okay. Thanks. Thanks, guys.